Hey y'all, hey, Amanda here, and today we are going to take a look at the Planner Happiness subscription, July subscription, uh, from the shop Planner Happiness on Etsy. Now, let me tell you a few things before we get started, because I'm already pretty disappointed with this, and I haven't even looked at what's inside. First of all, I ordered it on June 18th. Okay, fine. Same day I ordered the Alex Studio one, and, um... It says on Etsy that it was shipped Ju July 1st. Okay, July subscription, shipping on July 1st. That makes sense, right? Well, someone lied on Etsy because this says right here that it was shipped on July 9th. That is nine, eight days later. Like, that's obnoxious. And secondly, it's a $15 subscription. $3 that went to shipping. Does this look like it costs three fucking dollars? Excuse my language. Maybe I'll edit that out. Maybe not. Does this look like it costs $3? No, it's got a stamp on it. It's just got like a forever stamp. So I'm going to obviously contact the seller and let her know, hey, I need to be refunded because this forever stamp did not cost you $3. That's just a little bit obnoxious. And I'm mentioning the shipping issue in my review on Etsy as well because that is really unprofessional and it, it doesn't say hey I respect you as a customer it doesn't it absolutely does not so there are my first little gripes about this and it actually uh, I was really concerned if this didn't arrive today today is the 13th by the way although this video will not be uploaded on the 13th this arrived today on the, on the 13th um, if this didn't arrive today, I was actually going to contact her and ask for a full refund because at that point I didn't want it. It's all, it's already halfway through July, so what's the point of getting the July subscription? So there are my gripes to begin with, and because this had taken so long, I thought, well, let me look at her reviews because maybe it's just lost in the mail. Let me see if anyone else has had issues. And I should have read the reviews before I even bought it, although I think a lot of them are more recent reviews. Um, several reviews where people are mentioning huge issues with shipping and issues with dealing with the seller herself, um, where she's very accusatory and very defensive and just straight up rude, not the way you talk to customers. And even she, even like the comments she puts on those reviews, because you know how the seller could comment back on reviews, are just really, they're very suspect and they make me very suspicious of the shop. So I have cut it open, but I have not looked at what is inside just yet. So let's just go ahead and see if it's worth $15, whatever's in here. $15 and all that shipping time. Let me make sure there's nothing else. Speaking of which, um, this is not the best way to be shipping things in this little envelope. And there's absolutely nothing in there to keep it sturdy. So, just another thing to note. So, on top we have a sticker that says, Fun in the Sun. And if I open it up, let's see what else is inside. So, right on top we have some half boxes. We've got a red, orange, yellow, blue, and green. And then we have some heading covers in a wave print and in a popsicle print, and then um, the same up top, but the popsicle um, headers say today, and then these ones say a few other things. Um, I don't like the kids is on there. Not everyone has kids. I have no intention of ever even having kids. I'm really not interested. So that's kind of like, eh, not going to get any use out of that. Besides it, I think the rest are pretty universal. And I really like the wave print. I wish there was a full box of the wave. And these are on matte sticker paper, by the way. And this one, let me make sure this is in the screen. Okay, it is. This one is just a little summer set, so you've got some suns and some pine pineapples, <laughs> popsicles, not pineapples, 
and watermelons, some beach things, a grill. I have to say, compared to other shops, this clip art looks very tacky. Very Microsoft Word 1998 kind of clip art looking. So that's a little disappointing. Like, I don't see myself using some of these, honestly. And then we have some checklists. Um, can we talk about these checklists for a minute? Because all of the checklists have rounded edges, except for the second from the bottom, and it's the same on all of them. Why does it even, why does it look like that? I mean, that, that's just a lapse in detail. Obviously, the seller wasn't paying attention when she made them. And then we have some teardrops, and actually the printed, the teardrop that has stripes on it, you can see lines from the printer on it, which is weird because you don't see it anywhere else on the page. That's a little strange. Maybe it was just a bad um, image to be working with. So, that's another kind of disappointing sheet. Let's put the disappointing ones on that side, and the ones that are okay on that side. And then on this one, we have some flags and some mini flags. And these are like real images on these, of like sand and the beach. It's kind of weird. Being that small, you're really not going to see it at all. So probably won't use these ones that have images on them. But I will definitely use the colored ones for sure and all of these dots. So that, that's kind of an in-betweener. And once again, I think it's this image and not the printer because I see the lines in the striped image again. So that's disappointing. This makes a little more sense. Some of the same images featured here, only they're larger. That makes more sense in a half box. And then there's kind of like these flowers that don't really make sense in the context of like the beachy summer theme. But I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this. I'm. You know, I was disappointed to begin with, and I thought, I really hope I don't carry this disappointment from the shipping into the review, but I think it's safe to say that the subscription service is just pretty disappointing in itself. Uh, I'll probably find a way to use some of these, and I I'm not going to use those checklists, because that box that's, like, not rounded is going to bother me because I'm like hella OCD about things. That's going to bother me. I'm probably not going to use the things that have images on them because they're just kind of tacky. I will probably will use, probably will use the colored teardrops. I might use some of these half boxes. I'll definitely use these here. I'll definitely use the dots and the flags and the colored flags. The ones with images I'll have to think about. I might use the plain suns and the beach ball. These suns with faces on them are really tacky. Like, some of these images are not cute. So I don't know about this. This is kind of disappointing, if I'm honest. It's not a really great subscription. The shipping is terrible. Terrible. Like, there are some shops where they put on, you know, their front page, hey, Shipping's going to take probably one to two weeks, maybe leaning towards the two-week side. And you're like, okay, fine. And this one said one to two weeks, so I thought, okay, it'll ship in one to two weeks. When I um, got the notification that it was shipped, it was June 1st. And obviously, the postmark tells you it wasn't shipped until June 9th. People, do not purchase from the Planner Happiness seller. I, I know that's a little harsh, but... You know, she doesn't have her shit together. She doesn't, obviously. And I don't know if it's an intentional thing. Maybe she's just in over her head. Maybe she needs to take a step back from the Etsy shop for now. I don't know. Your money and your time is important and valuable. And when people do things, in my opinion, saying it was shipped on July 1st and then it says July 9th, that's kind of fraudulent. I mean, it's not something you're going to call the cops or, you know, file a lawsuit about, but that's a lie. That is super, super duper a lie. So, I'm not satisfied with the stickers. I think the stickers, most of them are kind of tacky or half-assed. 
uh, or just someone thinking they had a good idea and it was not a good idea. I'm not happy with the shipping. Reading through some of the reviews and some of her comments back on the reviews, I'm not happy with her attitude. I don't want to purchase from someone who's that argumentative with their customers. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say just avoid the Planner Happiness shop altogether. If you have purchased from Planner Happiness and you had a positive experience, I would love to hear about it down below. Or if you even had a negative experience, I'd love to hear about it. Please tell me uh, your opinions and what you've been through. But as for me, I don't recommend the shop and I don't personally think I'll ever be purchasing from it again. I have worked with and I've purchased from so many shop owners who are so kind and thoughtful and sweet and willing to listen to criticism and willing to admit if they've made a mistake or if they've done something wrong that this is just not cool to me so I hope you guys enjoyed this video it's a little different than I usually do because I'm usually really really positive about things I, I don't see a point in being negative unless being negative is really called for and I think it was called for in this circumstance so sorry if you guys uh, didn't like that too much but I'm just giving an honest opinion and uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys later if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Hit that subscribe button if you'd like more honest opinions on Etsy sellers uh, and more planner videos. And I'll like, talk to you guys later. Bye!